Live from Baltimore, Maryland, another exciting game of NFL football. The field is damp and rain is in the forecast for tonight's game as the Chiefs get set to take on the Ravens. They're lined up and ready for the kickoff, so let's go to the field for the start of the action. Stover will be kicking off to start the game. Sam. From the 11. Kickoff return 15 yards. Let's see how effective they can be with their first drive of the game. It's first and ten. Start the drive at the 26 yard line. First and ten. Number 12 with a man in motion. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Lewis is there for the tackle at the 31 yard line. Good read on that play. He saw them drop back in zone and took advantage. That's the kind of efficiency that the coach is looking for out of him. Take what the defense gives. Don't force them. Protect the football. Those kinds of things. The Ravens come out in a nickel pack. Throws it. No completion there. I'll tell you, that was a tough one. When you're playing in these types of conditions, even the easy passes can be hard to hang on to. Third and six, all on the 31-yard line. Eight defenders in the box on this one. Number 12 sends a man in motion. Gets the delayed hand, sets the pass. Ed Reed brings him down before he can reach the marker. They can't get the first down on that running play, and since they're not in field goal range, we should see the punt unit. Number 16 is back to receive this kick. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 20 yard line. On a day like today, John, with rain expected throughout the day, do you think one team has the advantage over the other? That's going to be tough for these offenses. In fact, this one might go down to the team who wins the field position battle, walking away with the win. The Ravens come out in the bunch formation. Under pressure. The big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. He won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. Ball on the 15 yard line. The Chiefs come out in a nickel pack with the pass. Please to the wide receiver. Let's well, almost got to him there, John. You don't always have to get to the quarterback when you blitz effectively. Football's about rhythm and timing. Bringing extra guys that makes him throw the ball before he wants to can upset that timing. Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19-yard line. Ross, the lone back. Fires this one deep. He had a shot, but couldn't come up with it. So they don't get the completion, and the defense got a little lucky there. Nothing happening for the offense. They're forced into a three and out. From the 44. He lost it. The Ravens pick it up. They give it right back to the next the fumble on the punt return. I tell you, when you're returning the punt, your number one priority is to hold on to the ball. I mean, your defense just made a good stand. 
The offense is set to come in and make something happen. And you do something like that. I thought he was down, that's a lot of but it's difficult to tell from this angle. But mostly the official is seeing what we're seeing. So it's inconclusive, the call will stand, since he needs to be 100% sure to overturn a call. He takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. You bet. They just went from a bad play to a good one, and that does a lot for your team. Now let's see if they can take advantage of it. Throwing. Just couldn't get that pass under control. When it's raining like this, you have to make sure you get the ball secure. It looked like he might have taken his eye off the ball at the last second. And that had a lot to do with him losing it. Second and ten. Ball on the 47 yard line. Baltimore comes out with eight guys in the box. Bumbo, the Chiefs. Remember, that was a lucky bounce. Third and nine. Ball on the 48 yard line. Only one man back. Throws it. He hits his receiver. Number 26 is there on the stop. Number 12 is right on the mark with that throw. Third down is when you really need your quarterback to be sharp. Because of temptation to force something in is big. That time he found the right guy and he made a good throw. The Ravens with a four-man front. Just got level. Johnson. The defense held their positions One and didn't let him get very far. Play. Second, Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. They're coming with the blitz. Steps up into the pocket. Sends this pass out of play. It didn't appear he made it outside. Here's the call. Only offense. Number 12. And it is indeed intentional. Bounding across the penalty because it's a loss of 10 yards and loss of down. If you're outside the tight end box, you can legally throw the ball away as long as you throw it to or past the line of scrimmage. If you're inside the tight end box, you can't throw it away to avoid a sack. Number 87 comes in motion. Throws it. There's not one wide receiver who can ever play if he's never dropped the pass. It's just part of the game. He comes out to punt for the second time. Fair catch called for. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Kansas City using three linebackers. With the carry. Nice play fit. With the pass. And he makes the grab. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Ravens. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball, and it's six points.
The extra point attempt is good. So they come onto the field and get a touchdown on the first play. That was one of those plays that an offensive coordinator dreams about. He draws it up, puts it in the playbook, tells the team to study it, and they execute it perfectly. So he's back and ready to put this one in the air. The kick should be returnable. This one is handled by Sam. It's still early in the game. But you got to think the coach wants his guys to make a statement by scoring some points in this drive. The first and ten. Start the drive at the 36 yard line. First and ten. Baltimore using three linebackers. Fumble. The Ravens scoop up the fumble. The 20, the 10, touchdown. Perfect place at the right time on that play. A fumble recovery and a touchdown. Over. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. One thing to watch for now is how the offense responds. If they start worrying about turning it over again, they'll find themselves in the same position. They got to go back out there and stick to their game plan. From the 10 yard line. The defense caused a fumble the last time out and ended up taking it back for six. Ball on their own 27. First and 10. Number 12, looking to pass, lines up with five wide receivers. They get first down yardage on that hookup. 19-yard game on the play. First and 10, all on the 46-yard line. Baltimore stays in its base defense, even though the offense comes out with five receivers. I tell you, that's exactly what you're supposed to do if you don't reach your quarterback. Receive your hands up and cause an incomplete pass. Second and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Chiefs line up in trips bunch with the pass. Incomplete. Another incompletion because of the rain, John. So how do the players adjust? For conditions like this. Well, the first thing you want to do is keep the ball as dry as you possibly can. Maybe you use a little more clock in your possessions. Maybe you run it a few more times. But I really don't think that you change your game plan all that much. Throws it. And he fails to hang on to that. They dropped additional people into the secondary, but still generated an excellent pass rush. And that gives you a lot of flexibility calling your defense. If the guys up front are good at creating pressure, then you don't have to blitz as often, giving you the ability to double cover an opponent's best receiver. Cole Quick is ready to pump this one away. Number 16 will go back to accept this punt. From the 15-yard line. Number 16 doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with getting it to the 22-yard line. Right. 
Ball on their own 22. McGahey, the long back. Gets the pass off. Incomplete pass. This defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passing. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving options, forcing him to just get rid of it. Out of the gun. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. The pass ball's incomplete. Pollard whacks him, causing the incomplete. I'll tell you, there are plenty of guys in the league who take pride in making hits like that, especially when it causes an incompletion. The Chiefs come out in a dime packet. With the throw, Abe got the screen. Patterson makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. Pass is caught, but just shy of the first down. That was perfect defense. They allowed the catch, but they were there to make the tackle. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. And so the punt goes out of bounds. First Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Ravens come out of the nickel back. Ivy comes up to make the play the at the 46-yard line. And he play. was able to create a lot of space on that run, John. Well, it started with some good blocking. And when he got through there, he turned up field. First and ten. They weren't in position Ball to tackle. The 46-yard line. Johnson, the <laughs> long back. Number 82, in motion. Hands it off to the back. Runs over the tackle. Sun is there for the tackle. And the 13, they get two first downs on two running plays. They're looking to pound it at him right now. Ball on the 13-yard line. on the 13-yard line. Give it to the halfback. Wraps him up, and now it's four tackles. One yard, Johnson game, makes it up the middle for a yard or two. Twelve yards nine. needed to get into the end zone. Looks like someone jumped early. Dead ball. Let's start on the offense. Number 65. Still is the second down. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. Seven After the penalty, it's now second and long. On the 17 yard line. Have to get some points on this drive. Good position now to do that as they're Johnson, in the red zone. Johnson manages a yard or two on the delay play. Third down, and they have to get to the three-yard line. The Chiefs line up in a five-receiver set this time. Throws one up in the end zone. Webb was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Webb, the intended receiver on the play. Billy Cundin will attempt this one from 32 yards away. The veteran connecting is with a field goal. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time. Hunting. He's just about ready to kick this one away. 
Down for 16. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the 10. Of course, the three and out on the offense's last possession. Number 16 on the return. First and 10. All on the 26 yard line. McGahee lines up behind his fullback in the eye. He tucks it away. Setting up play action. He can't escape. Oh, and where'd that foot come from? Five yard loss on the play. Second, Second and 15. Ball on the 20 yard line. Out of the gun. No, me, Number five me. sends a man in motion. Dropping back. Looking for the long completion over the middle. The pass ball is incomplete. He, he just flicked his wrist and the ball just the took off. Receiver, just needed to take a little bit off of that one. And it could have gone for a big play. Clayton was the intended receiver on that play. Third and 15. Ball on the 20 yard line. Drops back. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. The 30. Pollard is there for this tackle at the 46-yard line. Mason found himself with a lot of room and picks up a lot of yardage. Looked like the closest man to him slipped up a little bit. It let him go by pretty easy. After one quarter of play, the score is 14-3. Ravens. Ravens. 14, the Chiefs. Three. And we're ready to start the second quarter. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. They'll go from the eye formation. Driving back to pass on first down. Gets rid of it. Fumble. The Ravens recover. And you know the defense is very angry at that missed opportunity. Second and long. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number five. Scans the defense from the gun. Launches it deep to the left. Incomplete pass. Obviously not what he was looking at. So as they get set to try to convert, here's what both teams have done on third down. They'll go from the shotgun. Here they come. Gets the pass off. Sertan is there for the tackle at the 40-yard line. And they don't pick up nearly enough for the first down, John. I'll tell you, this is such an odd decision. You've got to be able to execute a play with deeper options when you've got third and long. Sands lines up deep for the punt return. This one goes out of bounds. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. First and ten. Ball on the 35 yard line. Baltimore comes out in their nickel pack. Gets rid of it. And he, oh, he the had it and lost it incomplete. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Johnson, the long back. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. It's third down, nine to go. Baltimore looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Kansas City comes up short on third down again. Thank <laughs> you. 
The upcoming punt will mark his fourth so far. From the 26 yard line. Number 60 returns this one to the 32 yard line. So they have first and ten here. First and ten. The Chiefs come out in a nickel package. With the pass. Williams was his intended target. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. Chiefs line up in a 4-3. This one is spotted in 33. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Gain of about a yard. Third and nine. Ball on the 33-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Throwing. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Ross was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. They'll stop this one where it went out. Comes up to make the play at the 50-yard line. When you have a back that can average more than five or six yards a carry, you have to make sure that he gets the ball early and often. It's second, second down and one. and one to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. With the pass, he couldn't control it. All he can do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened on the play. Third and one. Ball on the 50 yard line. Set. Uh -huh. This one there trying to convert. Gets rid of it. Just couldn't get that pass under control. Two in a row just Number dropped. 82, the intended receiver on the play. Number 16 sets up to run back the punt. He signals for a fair catch. Touchback. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Chiefs come out in the 46. Receives the handoff. Keeps his feet moving. Johnson is there First for the attack down. at the 36. Took the handoff and picks up a nice game. Yeah, that was a ramble. Reminiscent of his early playing days. First Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36 yard line. The Chiefs line up in a 4 3. Hands it off to the back. Williams comes up to make the play at the 33. This defense has some good speed. So when you try something to the outside and you fail to get those outside guys blocked, well, you're in trouble. Second, Second and long coming up here. On the 33 yard line. Hands off to the tailback. Edward is there for the tackle. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the block. Ball on their own 33. 
Kansas City with six defensive backs. Long throw. It's caught. Pollard comes up to make the play at the 25-yard line. Mason wins the battle in the secondary and comes up with the big play. Yeah, and they said you want to play zone, and we'll just throw in the window. And that's exactly what they did. Kansas City goes with a four-man front. Looks like somebody got over the line a little early. Let's start on the offense. Number 89. Still like first moved down. a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snap. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Comes down to the dive back. Number 19 he breaks the play up in the backfield. Trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. He brought some extra guys up on the run blitz. They got penetration, and they shut the play down. Second and long. On the 33 yard line. The Chiefs come out on the 46. Here comes the play. Closing in. Now that's the kind of thing you got to do. You got to find a way to put the pressure on and disrupt his timing in the pocket. If they can get it to the 15 yard line, they'll get a first down. Dropping back. Pressure fires this one deep. What a catch. Oh, he's there on the stop. First the league has kind of become a cover too late. Where you let your linebackers take the tight end in the middle. And if the tight end is a guy like Todd Heat, he can do a heck of a lot of damage. First Heat is the magic number right now. The They've had some big scoring plays, but this is their first time in the red zone. And the veteran slips in there and gets the sign. you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. Ball on the 14-yard line. Oh, and this is the ninth play of this drive. Two-minute warning coming up. Kansas City lines up in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. He dives. Touchdown. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and the touchdown. The extra point attempt is good. John is starting to run away with this one, and they are clearly the far superior team. Yeah, and the last drive tells me that the defense is in for a long day if they keep playing like this. They need to find a way to at least slow them down. So it looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Sam, back to return. From the 10 yard line. Kick of course, the three and out of the last series. Sam, on the return. Almost at the two minute mark now. At the 44 yard line. First and ten. The Ravens line up in a 4-3. Going for the deep man. Almost picked off. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. 
Baltimore goes with a four-man front. It's a blitz. Throws this one away. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. Smith, the lone setback. Under pressure with the pass. And his pass is complete. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Driving that pass on the first down. With the throw, incomplete pass. Gonzalez was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball up on the 41 yard line. Baltimore comes out in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. McAllister is there for the tackle at the 36-yard line. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. This pass is incomplete. Kansas City fails once again to get the first down and that's seven times. Yeah, and that's huge for the defense to keep stepping up on third down like that. They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. Cundin needs to hit this one perfectly to have a chance. That one doesn't have the distance and comes up short. Hey, this is why you run those two-minute drills in practice for a situation like this. The only difference is this isn't the scout team defense. And for the missed field goal, a set up shot at the 43. First and 10. Number five from the shotgun. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. 14 on the play. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Chiefs come out of the 46. Rosen. Flowers makes the tackle at the 31. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy, but good old fashioned drop back and pass. And it's working. We're at the one minute mark. Only one man in the backfield. What is the play? Edwards comes up to make the play at the 27. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on the 27 yard line. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Chiefs line up in a 4-3. Pressure coming. Goes to the end zone. Trying for the end zone before his time. You can see what great arm strength he has, but that was out of reach for the receiver. And he does overshoot, like that time. But other times, he hits him right in stride. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversion. Kansas City using three linebackers. Closing in. Big time link. Derek Johnson makes his way into the backfield and takes it down for the second time. Just be a long field goal attempt, about a 49 yard. But this is no good. First After the missed field goal, they're set to go on offense. 39 the yard 39. The Chiefs line up in a five-receiver set this time. Gets the pass off. He was tipped. The That's his third complete. drop. Roll on the cover. Second and ten. 
Ball on the 39 yard line. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. It's a blitz. Stepping up, sacked. And the city calls a timeout. They have one remaining. And that can happen when you send a cornerback. But he's got to have the speed to get there. Otherwise, it could be a disaster. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. They take another sack and that brings up fourth down. They shot through there and used both moves and power to disrupt the play and get that sack. Quick will come in now to punt it away. Number 16 into return. From the 35 yard line. He will return and they stop him at the 45. First and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. The Chiefs come out in the fourth grade. They'll pass on first down. Fires this one deep. Incomplete pass. He had him out there. He just put too much on him. Second and ten. Ball on the 45 yard line. Pressure. Gets the pass off. Knocked away. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and can bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. The Chiefs come out in a nickel package. Tucks it away. Great fake. Rowing. Pass ball's incomplete. When you talk about ball control and time of possession, that's not what you want to see. Right. Number four comes into the game for the punt. Sands sets up, waiting for the punt. And so the punt goes out of bounds. Deep in their own territory. The Ravens line up at a 4-3. Is there for the tackle? The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. At the end of two, the score is 21 3. Ravens. We're ready to begin the third quarter. Comes in to kick off. Sends it sailing. This one is taken by number 16. The most important thing to do now is to protect the football. You've got a good lead, and you don't want to throw it away by making any costly mistakes. With the rain and the wind, John, we talked about a low scoring game at the outset, but it hasn't turned out that way at all. The Chiefs with a four-man front. Well, this direction. Dropped in the backfield. A game. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25-yard line. McGahee, the lone setback. 
Hands it on. Page comes up to making the play at the 36 yard line. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. The Chiefs come out of the 46. Hands it off to the back. Williams makes the tackle, but it's beyond the marker, so they pick up a first down. He just barely finds his way past the marker. Ball on their own 39. The Chiefs with a four-man front. Dropped in the backfield. A game. A short long to carry. Good play by the one linebacker to get into the backfield the and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a ball. Ball on their own 38. On the 38 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. He tucks it away. They'll spot this one at the 43. On the he wraps him up and now has four tackles. With a nice burst through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. Third it's third down five. and five to Ball go. on the 43 yard line. In this direction. Edwards stops him short of the marker. Just what you expect to see. Another run. This is a time in the game that the offense wants to control the ball. It'll keep the clock moving and prevent the defense from making a big interception that can turn the tide against them. Number four is ready to pump this one away. Sands back to return. Fair catch. Number 12. Had a subpar Ball first half performance, so let's turn to the chart now to get the breakdown. The Ravens come out of the 46. Throwing. It's broken up. The Pretty good play call on that one. Completed. Everything happened the just as it's brought up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Second and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Dropping back, throws it. Samari Roll takes it along. Whoa. Samari Roll is a good defensive back. He's a fiery guy. He's a leader. He's a good cover guy, and he's a very good tackle. Ball on the 34-yard line. on the 34-yard line. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Game of six on the play. Kansas City lines up in a 4-3. Hands it off to the back, setting up play action. Gets the pass off. It's broken up. He did a nice job of getting off the line and getting into his pass pattern. But he had the ball bounce right off his fingertip. The Chiefs come out of the quarter defense. Going for the deep man. Knocked away. The offense executed the play just the way it's drawn up. The receiver just couldn't get it under control. This is going to be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. No good. It is no good.
So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 35. Baltimore comes out in a 46. They go for the tailback. Fumble. The Ravens scoop it up. What a great strip. And below you can see how these two teams have done in the turnover battle. First Ball on the 31-yard line. Ball on the 31-yard line. The Chiefs line up in a 4-3. In this direction. Edwards is there on the stop at the 26. McGee, McGee the makes the hand on the counter. Picking up burn. And now our board. viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Second it's second down five. and five Ball to go. on the 26-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Leave it off. Flowers is a there for the tackle the at the 24-yard line. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. On third down now, they have to get it to the 21-yard line to pick up the first. The Chiefs with a four-man front. Throwing. This one falls incomplete. Baltimore cannot convert a third down today. That's the ninth time. Let me tell you, I'm seeing a team who is getting physically beat up. Give a lot of credit to the defensive coordinator for being prepared and putting his players in a position to make plays. Next over comes in to try a 41-yard field goal. The veteran kicks it through. So after the field goal, the score is 24 to 3. Ravens. Stover is back and ready to put this one in the air. It's on its way. From the eight-yard line. The Chiefs face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 29. The Chiefs will start the drive at the 29-yard line. First and 10. The Ravens battle with eight guys in the box. The back breaks free. The 40. Midfield. The 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. And they'll score. Touchdown. He gets a great block right here to spring him for the touchdown. I'll tell you, he takes a defender right out of his shoes that time. Kansas will City be kicking off. Lined up with a kick off. Number 16, back to return. They'll return this one. From the 12-yard line. The kick offense ready to go again the after their last possession resulted in a field goal. The Ravens will start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Kansas City goes with a four-man front. Looking upfield. Setting up play action. Gets rid of it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Keith Ringham. They love to get the ball into his hand. 
And we can see why. First and ten. Ball on the 46 yard line. Chiefs with a four man front. Hand off to the tailback. McGain. Defensive tackle surge through the line to bring the runner down. The now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. So it's second and down and seven to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Ravens come out in the bunch formation. Bunches it left. Wow. Is there for the tackle. He's really not gotten it going on the ground today. Two on the play. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. Kansas City with six defensive backs. Drops back. Under pressure with the throw. Patterson brings him down before he can reach the marker. William gets stopped short of the marker on that play. Stover will have to get a lot of leg into this one. That kick was short no from good. the moment he kicked it. The After the missed field goal, they'll set up shot at the 44. At the 44. First and 10. Baltimore goes for the four-man front with the carry. Lewis comes up to make the play the run, at the 49. Larry Johnson the has been clearly a big part in their offensive play and now has over 125 yards rushing. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. Baltimore using the three linebackers. Right is there on the stop at the 45. Hey, all he had to do was get behind those big old blockers and just keep pushing. The next thing you know, they're moving the chains. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 45 yard. Hands it off. Scott comes up to make Johnson the play. On the carry. The 38. He's got his part out the there. Play. You know that they wanted to run the ball and the defense coming in, and that's exactly what they've done. Second, Second and, and three. maybe three. Ball on the 38 yard line. Baltimore goes with a four-man front. And off to the tailback. Number 26 is there for the tackle at the 32. So he gets about five yards and the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. First and ball on the 32-yard line. On the 32-yard line. Baltimore using three linebackers. For the halfback. Smith yeah, takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 29 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Gets the toss to the right. This one will be spotted at the 27 yard line. The tackle is his fifth of the game. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. And a pickup of about two. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Ravens ahead of the Chiefs. 24-9. The Chiefs could quickly close the gap as we begin the final quarter. Third down here. They have to get it to the 22 for a first down. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Keep getting away. The defense likes Maybe to keep the pressure on. We'll bring, bring extra long guys long on the overloaded side, hoping for turnover opportunities. 
fourth and nine. Difficult situation here, but not much else they can do but go for it. Ooh, nearly picked off. They failed to get the first and turn it over on downs. At this point in the game, they need a big play. Sometimes high risk equals high reward. They might try a different play next time. They'll take over at the 31-yard line. First and 10. They line up in the I formation. On the call. Nice play for him. It's rid of it. He finds his man. Number 91 is there on the stop. At the 38-yard line. He gains about seven yards on that reception. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number five with the carry. One yard loss on the play. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Gets the toss to the left. Donnie Edwards makes the tackle, and so that's number six. That's exactly the way you want to run this play. Perfect pitch by the quarterback. Back didn't have to break stride, and they bring it downfield for a good game. Ball on the 44-yard line. Kansas City using three linebackers. Throwing. It's batted away. The back was a good receiver out of the back. It really gives you that extra dimension on offense. You have to find a way to try and catch it when your hands are on it. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. The defense has it. He throws the fourth quarter interception. He just should have tucked it away and run with it. First the offense ten. gets ready to go on the field interception. Baltimore lines up in the 46. And the counter play. Suck is there on Johnson the stop on the at the 49-yard line. He's one of those guys that can put up 100 yards week in and week out. This has been just another day at the office for him. Ball at midfield. Six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Baltimore comes out in 46. Throws it. He had a shot but couldn't come up with it. That's the third one he's been unable to bring in. Receiver on the play. Third and six. Ball on the 49-yard line. Number 12, looking to pass. Lines up with five wide receivers. Dropping back with the throw. This is a wide receiver. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time, they needed to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. is there for the tackle at the 27 yard line you know that the guys up front love to run block all offensive linemen do just out muscle the guy right in front of you they've done a pretty good job of creating scenes and holes for the backs in this one number 12 starts out of the shotgun throwing knocked away that's his third drop Third and six. Ball on the 27 yard line. The Ravens come out in a nickel package. Gets the pass off. Chris McAllister makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. 
He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. And the thing is, that's where it all starts with alignment. And whoever can take control and dominate in the trenches is going to have a huge advantage second over their goal. opponent. It's ball second and goal yard. at the 10 yard line. The Ravens with a four man front. Lewis makes the tackle Johnson, at the six carry. yard line. The and offensive the line loves to run block, playing physically against the defensive line. They've done a heck of a job of it out there today. Third it's third and goal, and goal oh, at the six. Sorry. Number 12, out of the gun. Throws it, point, touchdown. And it's not finished yet. The quarterback went through his progressions and found a receiver that he thought had the best chance to haul it in for the score. And they'll forego the extra point and try to make it a seven-point game. Two-point try is no good. Well, they need the ball back and they need points. So they're lining up for the onside kick. Here we go. Baltimore recovers. Baltimore already leading in this one. Sends their offensive unit back onto the field. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Spot this one at the 35 yard line, and that's now game three four, tackles for him in this game. Ball on the 35 yard line. Ball on the 35 yard line. Kansas City lines up in a 4 3. The rush is on. I don't know what happened there. The quarterback did his job delivering a catchable ball. He just couldn't come up with it. Third and six. Ball on the 35-yard line. Out of the eye formation. He gets the count. Derek Johnson drops in short of the marker. Three-yard gain on the play. Right. So, just a long field goal his last time out. Let's see how he fares on this one. Chiefs line up in a five receiver set this time. Going to the air on first down. Samari Roll has it. Flips the thing. Roll makes the fourth quarter interception. Right. 
first so ten after the interception. Now it's first and ten. McGahey, the deep man. Uh, uh, Give it to the halfback. Boom. He's there on the scene. McGahey. With a nice burst game. through the middle that time. Five yard pickup. It's second down and five to go. The Chiefs line up in a 4 3. Gets the call. He's brought down behind the line for a short one. Number 37 couldn't get out of the backfield. Almost at the two minute mark now. And we've reached the two minute mark. Kansas City goes with a four man front. On the delay. Found the ball carrier again. That's something we've seen plenty of in this game. Kansas City calls a timeout. They have two remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 38 yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. Looking upfield. This one was spotted at the 34 yard line. He got in there and made the tackle his fourth of the game. Second and five. All the 34 yard line. the back Johnny Edwards McGee. always seems to be in the middle of the action McGee he takes advantage of a little daylight picks up three yards so it's third down as they try to get it to at least the 28 and convert number five sends a man in motion in this direction Williams stops him short of the marker. One yard gain on the play. Snow stole line to try what should be about a 47 yard field goal. So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 37 yard line. The Ravens line up in a 4 3. Dropping back to pass on first down. This pass is incomplete. Time is working against them. Yeah, I'm thinking they're going to keep going to the end. It might be a little too late. Second and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. The Ravens come out in a nickel back. Rosen drops the interception. Get another drop for him. Darling, the intended receiver on the board. Third and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Baltimore comes out in a dime package. That's a little surprising. The receivers coach has been spending extra time on all those guys on offense working on mechanics and their technique. He told me that he's seen a big improvement. With a big drop on third down like that, 
shows that they still need a little more work. I don't think they have a choice. They have to go for it. With the pass, no completion there. The offense turns the ball over on downs. They needed to keep the ball and try to score. Maybe next time they may try something a little different from the playbook. He'll take a move. Number 91 stops the clock there. He'll just take a move. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down.